Hi everyone, Sandman here. Today's video is brought to you by a donation from Sergio, and here's what he has to say. Hey Sandman, I'm a 19 year old MGTOW here in Melbourne, Australia. And anyways, yesterday I had this epiphany of the perfect system for relationships between men and women. I watched a video by Turd Flinging Monkey called, She'll Never Love You, explaining how women cannot love men. Now my idea is based upon information regarding human biological nature, along with the weird fascination for Asian women. First of all, we start off with the accepted basis that we humans were innately programmed to sustain the population by producing kids and taking care of them. We can say that men love women, and women love children. Continuing on, men can love any sort of woman provided that she's good looking enough. And women also have this need to be a mother, and have the need to take care of something young and vulnerable. That's why you see women with pets. Especially cats. Anyways, basically the relationships under my system would go as follows. A man about 10 years younger would be in a relationship or marry a woman older than him. And the age gap should be roughly between 8 to 12 years. And I think this theory may work because women like to take care of young things, and men like to be taken care of, reminding them of their childhoods. Essentially it would become like this. Men love their women, their women love their children, which to some extent is her man because he's younger. This is somewhat based upon the Oedipus complex. Also this would only work up until the point where they both have kids. And when that point comes, the attention shifts from the man to the kids. But compared to the average similar age relationship without kids, the love between a man and a woman, in my proposed worldview, would be often far superior. I think this is the only way for women to actually love men, the same way that men love a woman, by tricking biology and nature for our benefit. Asian women would become better candidates for something like this, because they tend to age a lot slower, and look young for quite a while. I would also like to know your ideas and thoughts on this crazy idea, so thank you. Well, Sergio, thanks for your comments and questions. And I see your scheme for finding a woman part of the bargaining phase after taking the red pill. Many newly created MGTOWs are trying to find the Nawalt in the most creative ways. I've now heard men do everything from trying to marry cougars to try to find women with Asperger's syndrome, or marry women from the Philippines or yet another foreign country. Also marrying women that are fat, old and unattractive because they don't have as many options and are more likely to stay with the guy. Or simply to find a woman while she's still young before she rides the carousel so that she bonds with him early and doesn't go anywhere. Just look at the different video titles that guys have requested me to make. Billionaire Nawaltz, Marrying Wealthy Women, Modern Kings and Queens. And all these videos are from men attempting to bargain with gynocentrism and bargain with their own biological imperatives to seek out a woman and mate with her. Relationships with women are not a problem that men can find a permanent solution to. This is a no-win scenario, and you're not going to become like Captain Kirk, and have the option to reprogram the computer so you can beat the Kobayashi Maru and the no-win scenario. The closest solution I've come to in this no-win scenario, if you want to have kids, is the surrogacy option. But with regards to safe female companionship, that's not going to work safely for anyone. Women are generally looking to trade up and get the bigger, better deal. And in the past, religion, the state, and social pressures kept women from behaving the way they wanted. But today, they can do whatever they want, and their true nature is coming out. With regards to cougars, a young man marrying one of them is a man getting together with a woman below his marketplace value. She knows this in most cases, but in many cases he doesn't. And like you suggested, being with a cougar ties into male mother need. Because if the woman he's with is the same or similar age to his mother, then he can get the affection that he never got from his mother to begin with. So we can now see that as some sort of emotional healing process. I also find that in most cases, if the guy doesn't know his value when to getting together with the cougar, he will eventually realize it when he's around the age of 40, and she'll be closer to 55 or 60, and then in all likelihood he'll probably end up dropping her like a sack of potatoes and find a woman that's in her late 20s or early 30s. The man in that case has the option to do so, but the older woman doesn't. And as women get older, the desperation continues to get worse and worse. I'm also including a link to a video in the description called Cougar Hunter, 31-year-old man has 91-year-old girlfriend. Even Kyle's mother is accepting of his behavior, Kyle being the 31-year-old man. What I also find interesting is that this video has a downvote ratio of roughly 3 to 2. Most women in the comments section are attacking Kyle and saying that he's a gold digger waiting for these women to die so that he can take their money. I guess women don't seem to like the taste of their own medicine. And Kyle, the man in this video, is dating multiple older women and has probably decided that quantity at this point trumps quality. 
That's his strategy for personal fulfillment. Sergio, you come across as an intelligent guy. You know that Asian women age slower, and you know that if you have kids with an older woman, you would no longer be at the center of attention in that relationship. And you also hit the nail on the head that women want to give attention to kids and animals instead of men. So rationally, if the guy puts himself in the place of that pet, then he's more likely to get positive female attention. But a cougar that's older than you is going to treat you like a child in many ways. She'll dress you, feed you, and make you dependent on her. And that's kind of the way that women are taught to behave in the 1950s. But you can't go back in time because these cougar ladies have usually spent a decade's worth of riding the carousel and manipulating men. So she's honed her skill as a woman to basically manipulate men into becoming providers. And she will also expect you to be a provider as well. And I'm seeing more and more of these cougar marriages and long-term relationships in recent years with younger guys. And more women lately are more interested in these younger guys as well. But being with younger men reminds most women of how old they really are. Sure, it makes them feel good as an ego boost, but it also makes them feel very insecure about their age. And the old argument that a cougar is going to have more money than the young guy isn't necessarily true anymore. I've met some female cougars that have more money than their younger male counterparts, but I've also met some women that actually have less than them as well. And the last thing you want to be doing as a 25-year-old male is paying alimony to a 40-year-old woman. And even if you married this cougar and she had kids 5 to 10 years later, her attention would most likely shift to them, and you'd be left out in the cold emotionally and possibly financially if she decided to leave you and force you to pay child support. Not a good place to be in either. The second last image in this video shows your near future, Sergio, if you decide to marry a cougar 15 to 20 years older than yourself. This image will be up in roughly a minute or two, and I want you to ask yourself, does that look like the picture you see yourself in? When you fully digested the red pill, you'll probably stop bargaining with gynocentrism. It's a catch-22. And the real reason newly minted red pill men are bargaining with reality is because males are natural problem solvers. We look at the current way that relationships exist all around us, and we see them as a problem to be fixed. That's how the majority of the men's rights movement sees them as well. But men going their own way see it as a no-win scenario. They can't be beaten. Even if you're with a much older woman that can't do any better than you, she'll probably end up dropping you if men like Kyle the Cougar Hunter show up, and if they're genuinely attracted to and have a fetish for older women, which in some sense is like winning the lottery. If he finds them attractive instead of gross, then he literally has his pick of any of the older women that he wants to date. But if you watch the full video that I put in the description below, you can see that he keeps his options open and doesn't settle down with only one older lady. And that's probably the real reason why women downvoted the video, because he doesn't want to commit. And I'm sure that many of these older women know of each other, and they don't seem to care, because like I said earlier, their options are limited, so they'll take what they can at this point in their lives. With regards to men trying to reorganize social relationships to create an Walt, it kind of reminds me of those books called Where's Waldo when I was growing up. Waldo would always be hiding in an image filled of thousands of people. Someone should create a series of similar books for men going their own way called Where's the Nawalt? And what I think would be really cool is for there not to be any Nawalts in any of the images. You can put an image of the mythical unicorn woman on the cover, but never actually put her inside the book. So the guys would just keep looking and looking like they do in real life, but she wouldn't be in the book because she doesn't exist. And for laughs, the creator of the book could put a unicorn in each and every single one of the images as a stand-in for the mythical woman. Maybe a series of MGTOW books with illustrations for kids would be a great gift for our nephews at Christmas, or for their birthday parties to start telling them younger and younger about the dangers of females. Sergio, don't do it. Don't marry a cougar. It's too risky, and even if it does work in the best case scenario, you'll be 25 to 30 years old and paying for children that belong to a 40-year-old woman. And her attractiveness will start to fade, and your youth and looks will still be there, and this will probably make her feel incredibly insecure, and she'll probably take out her negative feelings on you. So go out and meet cougars and have some fun times with them, but never really commit to them in a marriage. Think about what I've said before you make any decisions that you'll probably certainly regret later on. Deal with any possible issues that you have with your male mother need as well. I think that would be a great thing for you to understand, regardless of what you do. Men need to grow past their mommy issues and not seek out a new mother to adopt us when we become adults. Anyways, thank you for your donation, Sergio. And should you marry a cougar? Definitely not. And as for everyone else, please follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook to get tomorrow's video today. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember, a red pill a day keeps the divorce lawyers away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.